Well, now, next, we have a very special guest. A man who's prepared for pretty much anything thanks to his Eagle Scout status. Thank you for joining us tonight, Will Coots. What's up, man? Yeah, how are you doing? Doing well, my man. Uh, dorm and your uh, favorite Notre Dame memory. Let's get started the right way. Yeah, so I'm a, a sophomore transfer student from Oregon, Illinois, living in Carroll Hall. And, you know, I haven't had much time here yet, but I think my favorite memory... Uh, is when the entire sophomore class, or freshman class and sophomore transfer class got together at the Grotto and, and had that first opening Grotto experience. The Grotto is one of my favorite places on campus. And congrats for being a transfer. That's a Thank hard you. deal to, to not get, you get in the first yeah. time, but keep up that mentality to get in a second time. What was that like for you when you found out you got in? Oh, I mean, uh, it was a dream come true. I mean, I'd wanted this forever. And, and being a senior in high school, I thought that you know I was the king of the world and that I could just get in here and, and waltz right in. And, and getting that rejection was was a bit of a sting, but working year long uh, at Oklahoma State and, and really staying committed to getting here and then having that come true, uh, I, I, mean, I still remember screaming when I saw the notification and running to my mom uh, and just jumping and, and crying and, and all the hard work had paid off. Way to go, man. Well, that will only serve you well in the future. Now, you are a king of sorts. You have a, <laughs> a, a, a robe-like uh, lasso yeah. there. What, what is this uniform for? Yeah, so um, I am an Eagle Scout, but uh, at the end of December, I was elected to serve as the Central Region Chief of the Order of the Arrow. And, and in non-Boy Scout terms, uh, I'm the lead youth of the entire Midwest, which is about 16 states and about a little over a million scouts. Now, when did your journey to be an Eagle Scout, Scout begin? Well, I joined the Cub Scout program when I was five, uh, but my journey in Boy Scouts started in 2009, and over six years uh, up until the fall of 2015, I, I worked tirelessly towards, towards getting Eagle. What are your favorite three skills you have now as an oh, Eagle Scout? Um, honestly, I think, I think that knowing how to tie knots uh, is, is a little underrated and underappreciated because, I mean, tying knots has come up and and building my dorm room how I'd like to or, or being stuck in a jam and trying to, to figure things out. Um, first aid, obviously, is always uh, another, but I think the one that I appreciate the most is just knowing how to accomplish a task, you know, whether that be um, an assignment for a class or for Eagle Scout, my Eagle Scout project, knowing how to set a goal and accomplish that all the way through is by far the best. Have you been able to use that skill here at Notre Dame already this year? Oh, absolutely. Um, especially in the marching band, I had an opportunity uh, to be a part of the band last semester. Um, and I think there are 87 Eagle Scouts out of 180 guys, which is just a large number. And, and that's really because, as again, you know, they know how to accomplish a task that they set their minds to. I always wanted to ask an Eagle Scout now, can you start a, f a match with, like, your thumb? Can you do that? Do they teach you that there? Yeah, well, I mean, I can whittle sticks together. It takes me a while. You can whittle sticks? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I whittle, you know, spark sticks together. But uh, I think of all the obscure ones, I think probably using a magnifying glass is my favorite. Oh, you can use a magnifying glass to start a fire. Yeah. That's not just in the movies. No, no, no. It, it really works. <laughs> all right. And tell us, how, how are you involved still now with the, with the Boy Scouts as an Eagle Scout here at Notre Dame? Yeah, um... At Notre Dame, I'm, I'm working with a few other friends that are involved in scouting to, to really get some Notre Dame students back involved in the local Cub Scout packs and, and troops. Uh, but on the weekends, I do a lot of traveling as Central Region Chief. Uh, this past weekend, I was in Chicago, and next weekend, I'll be in Utah serving and giving keynote speeches and um, meeting kids and introducing myself to them. What are two things you tell kids to keep in mind if they want to be an Eagle Scout? Well, the first thing is, is to be determined and, and don't give up. You know, resilience is key. Uh, and the second one is to have fun. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. What, is the, what are some of the ways that Eagle Scouts have fun? It seems like it could be kind of dangerous with all the yeah. matches and magnifying glasses you guys got. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm a big fan of the outdoors and just enjoying nature in general. Uh, I think you can see that at the lovely campus here. Being in Carroll Hall has its perks of having an amazing view um, of the lake, but, but also just going out and, and experiencing wilderness and what it has to offer. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Will.